Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics. As you can see, I focused in on my uh, good boy gift from Santa Claus. This is an Easy Clone 60. We have uh, a row of cherry tomato, a row of Roma tomato, and a single uh, spinach and basil uh, planted in here as our, our test cases. I'm sure all of you can go on to the internet for the Easy Clone and see the inside of what one of these machines look like. But uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm glad that uh, we've been able to add this to the grow room. All of the other plants seem to be doing extremely well. Our aroma that we had in the uh, aeroflow that we left in there for a bit longer is uh, producing nice flowers all over the plant as well as the, uh, the other one back here. The uh, pepper plant uh, that's been here for a while and this Eben Grow system it was one of the original plants put in here is producing flowers for us. Parsley, everything else is doing well. Even the plant that we dropped the light on is, uh, or the light dropped onto, uh, even though it uh, will forever have its tattoos from that accident, uh, is still doing well. We have a couple of empty pots. We had a uh, Roma tomato plant in this pot that was mixed with uh, hydrotin and the sure to grow hail. It did not do well and uh, we finally took it out. The uh, power grower unit is also still producing quite well for us. The pepper plants that's in here has got uh, several peppers now uh, now growing on it. Let's see if we can focus in on one that uh, is uh, coming out for us there. The uh, tomatoes that uh, we have in here, the cherry tomatoes, we harvested about 50 to 60 of those tomatoes the other day and as you can see we still have cherry tomatoes popping out all over still in various stages of ripeness whether they're red, green, yellow, etc. Our basil plant that we moved from the Aeroflow is also doing extremely well we have uh, two units in here in the back that we're still uh, holding open as well as the one from the Ebb and Flow uh, for our uh, eggplants and cucumbers that we still have here in the in the in the aeroflow as you can see the uh, cucumber plant uh, here is uh, doing extremely well the eggplant that we have here is doing very well and also the lettuces we have pretty much concluded that this uh, unit and you can see we added the uh, the last rail to it is going to be all for the short growth plants the lettuce plants and the herbs and we'll use these uh, other systems the the power grower and the ebb and flow unit for our larger plants we are having a bit of a humidity problem here in the grow room our humidity has been going up to about 68 70 percent we've been keeping our exhaust fans on the problem with that is that uh, obviously the plants don't get any co2 while we do that so uh, I think I'm going to go down to the local depot and invest in a dehumidifier. Usually in the winter months we don't have a problem with that here. Usually it's the opposite, but uh, for some reason we seem to be kicking off a lot of humidity either through transpiration or just the volume of water that we have here in the room. Uh, it's become an issue. So uh, even though we have our fogging device uh, not uh, activated due to the humidity level and the automated monitor that we have um, it uh, it's still creating a problem so we'll get that dehumidifier hooked up and uh, we can get some co2 going back in the room and uh, hopefully our humidity levels will go back down and we will prevent any wilting or rot on our plants hope you all had a great holiday season and uh, thanks for seeing us we'll Come back to you again at Practicing Hydroponics.